Alright folks, we're going to do a quick video here on the Maxpedition Roly Poly Medium or MM Pouch. Uh, before we get started though, why don't everybody go grab themselves a uh, quick beverage, a nice cold one, and, uh, and then come on back and then we'll go ahead and we'll talk about this pouch. All right, hopefully everybody made it back. So let's talk about this pouch a little bit. Uh, this is something that I picked up because I recently just picked up uh, a new backpack, like a bug out bag or a get home bag or a camping bag. And I wanted some pouches that I could attach to it. And uh, I've seen these over the years and people use these uh, roly poly uh, bags for a couple of different things. They'll use them as something they can clip to a bag or a belt and uh, collect tinder with them or collect uh, resources. Uh, I've seen people use them as game bags, as crazy as that'll sound. But uh, basically it's a collection device. So when you're out in the woods or you're out in the wild or you're out in nature and you're doing things, uh, you might need a quick or easy way to deploy a bag that's uh, light and convenient and then you can put things in. And uh, that's what I'm going to do with this one. So anyhow, when it's folded up, let's get some specs out of the way. It uh, is three and a half inches long by two inches wide by three inches high. So it's about three by two and a half by three and a half. Unfolded, it's six by three by eight. And uh, the thing about this bag is actually um, it's a dump pouch. It's supposed to be a tactical bag that can hold seven 30 round AR 15 magazines, uh, either horizontally or vertically. I did not go and pick out 7 uh, P mag, so we're not going to test that. I've seen it on the internet. And if you want to see it, you can look at it on the internet too. Um, what's nice about this is that it comes with a clip, and we'll get into that, that you can attach to your belt, a belt loop, molly, anything like that, pals webbing. And uh, like most of Maxpedition's gear, it's uh, made of a thousand denier Cordera nylon. It's uh, triple coated with polyurethane, and then it gets a Teflon coating on top of that. So it's water resistant and grime resistant. Uh, like all their stuff, box stitched, made with great thread. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get this off of this, uh, this pack and uh, take a look at it. Now this, like all of Maxpedition's gear, ships in just a plastic bag. And as I mentioned, uh, you have your PALS webbing, so it's Molly compatible. We have three rows right here. Great uh, Velcro. All their stuff is made well. So it just rolls down and uh, opens up, so it's pretty simple, right? drain hole at the bottom in case you have something wet in there or you're collecting stuff while it's raining. So that's a pretty good sized pouch as you can see. Um, what I'm curious about is how many Miller lights can you fit in there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to guess one, two, three, four. I'm going to say I can get five in there, potentially six. I don't know what you can get in there or not. Let's take a quick look at the way this works. So while it's hooked to your belt uh, via this clasp here, you can use the Velcro to cinch it shut, or there is some hook and loop on the inside of the bag, and I'm not sure how well that's going to come through. Let's see if I like that. And then uh, that way you can put this on the inside of your bag, you can reach in there unobstructed. The other thing is it has shock cord in the back with two of these keepers. So you can pull the shock cord, and then you can go ahead and you can cinch it down that way. If you would like, that seems like a pain in the ass to me, I probably wouldn't do that. I would probably just use the Velcro strap that uh, we looked at earlier. Okay, that's pretty good size. I'm, su I'm surprised about that. Typically, uh, my <laughs> and there's some hook and loop on the back here. Typically, my experience with Max Expedition is everything's a little bit too small. Let's see if I can go ahead and uh, get this unhooked. We're going to actually take this off because I I'm not the biggest fan of these. Sorry for going off camera for a second, but I'm going to need to. All right, now that we're back on. We're actually going to take one of these as Maxpedition Grimlock. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hook that Grimlock on there. And then when you hit this button, it's much easier to uh, attach or detach to certain things. I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to attach this because it's a pain in the ass. And then when I come back, you'll see it. All right, folks, we're back. And putting this Grimlock on was a, a lot easier than I expected it to be. just slips right in through this loop like we talked about. And uh, when you push this, it goes ahead and it opens up. And you can slide this through. Like I said, a belt loop D-ring, anything that you have. Um, you can slide it through any uh, Molly or Pals webbing, and then you can slide that webbing through this particular slot here. And uh, it fits on really nice. It makes it a really nice carry piece. That's it. Relatively simple. 
Grimlock's pretty simple. It's a dump pouch. What more can you say? Uh, this is in Max Expedition's uh, newer Wolf Gray. I wish that uh, all my gear was in Wolf Gray. I just love the way that this looks. I love the black trim and the, the white stitching, or the lighter stitching, I should say. That's really it. So thanks, everybody. Appreciate it.